Ruka took the train all the way to find Kazuya and Mizuhara. What a crazy ending to such a sweet episode. I'll analyze that scene later in the video. We start out with Mizuhara and Kazuya having to share a room again, which is a little repetitive, but I'm not mad about juicy content. Kazuya prepares a test run for the final scene of the movie, and when they get back to the hotel, he basically gushes over Mizuhara all night long. Then we finally get to see what Mizuhara had to say, and yeah, it was exactly what I guessed. She wanted to thank Kazuya for his help with the movie and it was a very emotional scene because we saw her pour out her heart to him. Kazuya now knows about her grandfather's death and her true reasoning for needing her grandmother to see her in a movie. This episode was actually super wholesome and it made me tear up. Mizuhara absolutely kills the filming session and they go back to get some sleep. Kazuya is thinking about Mizuhara and he is finally able to rein in his not so nice thoughts. It's satisfying that he has matured enough to refocus and be so productive. Mizuhara can't fall asleep at the hotel, so after discussing Kazuya's love life on the bus, she falls asleep on his shoulder. It was really cute because she deserves her rest. There's no one in the world that works harder than Mizuhara. We know that Kazuya really doesn't care about dating Ruka since he wants to be with Mizuhara, but in classic rent-a-girlfriend fashion, Ruka appears, strung out about the romantic getaway. She lays into Kazuya, but ultimately just asks one thing, give her what she wants on her birthday. This episode was was fine enough, but I'm missing the flair in this airing. Sure, the Ruka thing was surprising, but I feel like that running trope is played out. Where is the spice? I'm not saying this was a bad episode, far from it. Mizuhara expressed her true feelings of gratitude, and that's something special, considering that she usually just yells at Kazuya for doing something stupid. It was a very sentimental set of events, and I was left wondering, am I really watching Rent a Girlfriend? I want to see more dramatic surprises and momentous conflict, but but maybe we are entering into some kind of end game where Kazuya finally reveals his feelings for Mizuhara. I think he is ready to get rid of the trial period with Ruka and go for Mizuhara's heart. But maybe they will drag it out for another three seasons or something. I don't know. Again, this episode had a totally different vibe than before. It was mostly Kazuya and Mizuhara just being sweet and cute with each other without cringe. Sure, I love me a good, happy slice of life anime episode, but hopefully we get back to our flavorful regular programming. Rent a Girlfriend is at its best when the anime shenanigans are plentiful. But what do you guys think? Did you like this episode or not? Be sure to subscribe for next week's reaction as well as other anime content in general. As always, this is the Eagle Eyed Samurai signing off.